Hello and a welcome to Steve Williams Court here at Liberty Bend High School for tonight's matchup between the Lima Central Catholic Thunderbirds and the Liberty Bend Eagles. I'm Nate Garlock alongside Dar Devergal. And tonight's pregame is brought to you by the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all your banking and financial service needs. Visit yourstatebank.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Dar, we have a fantastic matchup tonight. Both of these teams having excellent seasons. Liberty Benton once again, the cream of the crop in the BBC. LCC coming off a huge victory this weekend against Lima Senior. And you got to love these late season matchups against teams that are having so much success. Coaches schedule these for a reason. These are those tournament game warm-ups. It's kind of a, a, a way for them to kind of get a checkup where their teams are, where their heads are at, and how they're performing going into tournament play. Oh, absolutely. And you're right. Nate, this is going to be quite a matchup between these two teams. You know, you're know, looking at an LCC team you know, coming off an emotional win in overtime against Lima Senior. We'll see how that plays out tonight because, you know, that's, they're a fairly young team too. So you're going to come off of a win like that into a big game against the Liberty Benton team who historically has always had a good basketball program. You know, but, you know, the flip side, you look at Liberty Benton. I mean, there's a young team. They only have two seniors and two juniors on their roster. The rest of them are all sophomores. And, you know, they've had an up and down season. They're 13 and eight. They are seven and one in the BBC, but they're 13 and eight overall. They win a couple games. They drop a game. They win a couple games. They drop a game. So they've been back and forth, you know, as compared to this LCC team at 18 and two, where they had a little bump in the road, you know, in the mid season, losing to Spencerville and Delta St. John's. But since then they've won seven straight and they've beaten some pretty good competition along that way. I mean, you're looking at Lima Senior, they've beaten Shawnee twice, they've beaten Ottawa Glandor. So this is a, a seasoned team on this LCC side that really can put a game together. And it's gonna be a great matchup ahead tonight. Liberty Benton at LCC getting ready to tip off. You have been listening to the State Bank pregame. We'll step aside and when we return, we'll have tonight's opening tips and the starting lineups on WOSN. School. We are just about underway here with the opening tip-off between the Lions of the Catholic Thunderbirds and Liberty Benton Eagles. Take a look at tonight's starting lineup. Starting first for LCC, they're going to start number zero, Jordan Pretty. Number one, Willie Foster Jr. Number two, Carson Parker. Number five, Demar For uh, Foster. And uh, number 14, Billy Burke. The opening tip is controlled by the Eagles. Taking a look at their starting lineup, it's going to be number five, Carson Conaway. Number 13, Jake Gherkin. Number 20, Reed Thomas. Number 23, Lincoln Holler. And number 24, Zach Elker. Early three-point try from the corner. Rims out. Going to be re rebounded by LCC, but taken right away by the Eagles. Floater in the lane by Conaway, and that's good for the first two of the game. Yeah, they're going to need a big game from Carson Conaway tonight. And one of the things about this Liberty Benton team is they're really going to have to box out and control the boards if they want to get the, past this LCC team. And you can see what LCC can do as they answer quickly on the other end. And that was DeMar Foster able to get that one in the lane. A steal by LCC. Foster on the other side off the rim. No, excuse me, that was pretty. No, that was Foster. This time it was Willie Foster. I was getting my Fosters confused yeah, there too many for, Fosters. <laughs> for a minute. LCC coming out, showing pressure here early. Liberty Benton trying to control, find themselves down here early, four to two. Yeah, Willie Foster already with two baskets. Opening quarter underway here at Liberty Benton. Three-point try on its way. That one's no good. Tonight's quarter sponsor is the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all your banking and financial services needs. Visit yourstatebank.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. And we talked about how young this El Liberty Benton team is. Like I said, they have a lot of sophomores out there. They have an up and down season, but they are traditionally a very, very good basketball program. And, you know, 7 and 1 BBC, you know, just, you know, holding their own in there. But, you know, this is a big warm up game for both these teams coming into the tournament, as you said, Nate. And it's one of these things that, you know, if you can win this game, it's going to give you a big boost going into the tournament. It'll be interesting to see, too, as LCC looks to be coming out. At under control here to begin with, but uh, you can't say enough about that game that they played this past Saturday night against the Lima Senior. Carson Parker, as you see him give the pass up that time, hit a last second shot to send that one into overtime as Pretty comes off the screen, able to bury that one from the free throw line. 
And then they took control in overtime, shut down Lima Senior. They came away with a huge victory in the Lima Cup, the first time in nine years that they have beaten El or Lima Senior. So you just wonder what kind of emotional letdown. Yeah, it was only absolutely. a few days ago. You know, a, a, a great environment over at LCC and a big win. But at least here in the early going, LCC looks like there's not going to be any hangover from that game. No, they're coming out firing it again. They already forced Liberty Benton into two turnovers. And this is a team from Liberty Benton. Averages about 11 turnovers a game, but you know, you see they have full court press that uh, LCC was throwing on them. It's going to be a good challenge for Liberty Benton. Can they break that press on a consistent basis? So Carson Parker are going to go to the free throw line. Tonight's free throws are brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpark, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Matthew Quatman coming into the game for LCC as Willie Foster will have a seat. Matthew Quatman, one of those players that LCC relies heavily on from the bench. He can come in. He's, he's what you can call that, maybe that glue guy or that spark guy. He comes in. He does the little things. He likes to get dirty. He gets after those 50-50 balls. He brings a physical presence to this team as well. Yeah, not a big scorer, but, you know, they don't need him to score. They just need him to be out there and provide that little spark, like you said, Nate. Here's or Quatman against Conway. Forces a short shot and rebound down to Liberty Benton. They're going to get a second opportunity. Like so they're going to need a big game from like Conaway and Gurton as well. It was off the hands of Gurkin, able to get it back in. Here's Thomas, gets it back out to Gurkin, looking for the screen. This is defense from LCC, not giving him an inch. And yeah, they're pretty much clogging up that middle. They don't want to get Liberty Benton on the inside like that. They want to keep Conaway on the outside. Conaway for a deep three off the front of the rim. Great defensive stand for LCC. They're going to go quickly. Yes. Parker pushes that up to Quatman and gives it back to Carson. Had a good crowd tonight for a Tuesday night game, too. Here's Burke, trying to get it fed to the inside. Ain't able to maintain it. Gets it back out to Pretty, and they're going to reset. They're looking to get it back to Burke on the inside, but the whistle comes. This one's going to go against Holler. It'll be his first, team second of the quarter. A couple of substitutions coming into the game as well. Angelo Collins checks in for LCC. And we see number two, Reed Irwin, coming in for Liberty Benton. Yeah, LCC coming in, averaged about 57 points a game. And Liberty Benton, on the flip side, averaging about 54 points a game. So that's about, you know, in the same range as that. Liberty Benton's defense is a little bit lower at 46 points a game, to, along with LCC at 45 points a game. So neither team really gives up a lot of points. Bar Foster trying to trigger the inbound, had to force it in as the five-second clock was working against him. Great job by Liberty Benton. They're going to get the turnover. Here's Conaway working against Pretty. Oh nice spin into the lane, but can't get the floater to go. Pretty comes up with the rebound. LCC is going to look to run. Pretty has to pull up just inside the free throw line, and he gets two more. That was a tougher shot than it looked. It because he really almost lost control of that basketball before he pulled it down and popped it in there. Yeah, it didn't look like he wanted to shoot it right no, there. He, he was didn't. looking to drive, but lost that control, like you said. It was a much tougher shot than what it looked yeah. like initially. <laughs> he made a tougher shot, I don't know. Demar Foster is going to take a seat now as Willie Foster is going to come back into the game. That's not officially a third turnover now for Liberty Benton. Brody Thomas coming into the game for Liberty Benton as well. Now, CC doing a nice job running half court offense in this first quarter. I mean, they, they aren't rushing to anything. They're trying to find the best shot they can find. Pretty coming off the screen. Wide open look at three, and he buries it. That is already seven points in the first quarter for Pretty, and we're going to have a timeout. Full timeout by Liberty Ben. We're going to step aside as well and be back. Timeouts are brought to you by Metro Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetcoFinancialServices.com. So Liberty Benton wanted to take the timeout. You can tell Coach uh, Whiteman was not happy with how things had been going here early. Liberty Benton had gotten a couple of stomps and given themselves some good look at it, but hadn't been able to finish at the rim. 
And they had been watching their turnovers turn into points on the other end. Yeah, they, this LCC defense has really shut them down right now in this first quarter. They need a big basket. Looking to force it to the inside. That one's going to get knocked away as Zach Elkert couldn't get his hands on it. Nice break to the basket by Elkert, but just, you know, LCC guy again right there just clogging up that middle. Billy Burt coming back into the game. Lamar Foster back in the game, and Parker Judy coming in for the first time for LCC. So Coach Powell, he's going to use his bench a lot as he likes to have fresh legs out on the floor, especially as they move here towards uh, the end of the season and into tournament time. It's nice to know the rotation that he can have at his disposal. Lowering the shoulder on the drive, it was Seth Elkert, but couldn't finish. Oh, Run out on the other end. Willie Foster puts that in for two. Pushes the lead to 13 to two. Liberty Ben desperately needs some kind of a basket or at least get to the free throw line or something. 13 to two on the Metzger Financial Services scoreboard. LCC on top. Nice turnaround with the right hand as Jake Gherkin gets on the board for the first time tonight. Uh, Gherkin had 15 points a game, so to hold him down to just you know, the first basket of the night for him. Here's Foster, he's going to pull up from the free throw line, leaves that one short, ends up in the hands of Liberty Benton. Conaway thought about driving for a second, kicks it back out. Gherkin going to pull up for two, leaves that one short. Conaway with the rebound, going to drive with oh, the nice left hand move. off the glass, good for two. Conaway's got some size on him, has some length. As you mentioned, Liberty Benton's going to need a big game for him, and he has four here in the quarter. Yeah, he's averaging close to 15 points a game himself, and, you know, he's the guy that's really got to be the catalyst for this team to get him going. And he just hadn't been able to finish off, it, like you said, at the rim. That one there was a nice move to put it in there. So here's the LCC in their half-court offense. Foster waiting for someone to come open. It's Angelo Collins up at the top of the key. Looks to drive, has to get rid of it. Demar is going to take it. Floater in the lane off the glass. That one's good for two. Tell you what, LCC looks on point here in the early going. No hangover from that Lima senior game. Liberty Benton coming off a loss, their last game over the weekend. So they were hoping to rebound tonight and had a tough task against these Thunderbirds. Shots like that, though, they're going to get them That's a little bit closer. So a three-point basket by Liberty Benton gets things going. And another timeout on the floor. We'll step aside as well and be back on WOSA. Welcome back to the scoreboard. It's brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. Metzger Financial Services is helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. 15-9 here in the opening quarter. Just under 50 seconds left to go. Nate Garlock alongside Dar Nevergal. And Dar, you know, not too long ago you looked up and it was 13-2. LCC had a lot of things going their way. Liberty Benton had to take the timeout. Looks like maybe they got some things going on offense finally. Yeah, I think they made a couple little adjustments. And, you know, they got guys, they know that they're getting, having a hard time getting it on the inside. If they can hit a couple of those outside shots. And both these teams take a lot of three-point shots, well over 370 three-pointers between, you know, each of them. So, you know, they're not afraid to take that three-point shot, but they're going to have to take those to get LCC away from that basket, open up a little bit of an avenue for Elkert to move in there and Girton and Conaway as well. See the LCC more than happy to hold on to it right here, looking to take the last shot of the quarter. And you mentioned all those three-pointers. I think early in the season, if you talk to a lot of people around the Thunderbird program, they would have said, yes, we're, we're talented, yes, we can shoot, but we're going to live and die by the three-pointer. If the shot's not falling, you know, we're not really sure if we're going to be able to win a, a lot of games. But then it, they kind of seem to take a turn, and we've only seen one main three-point or shot, only one three-pointer tried as that one goes in right at the buzzer as this Thunderbird team gets it done on the inside and at the glass here in the first quarter as they open up a 17-9 lead. We'll step aside, be back with the second quarter. OSN. Tonight's free throw sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lima Walpaw Delta's St. Mary's Coast. Lee's 
Today with Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Welcome back to Liberty Benton High School. Second quarter just about underway. LCC's offense looked to be hitting on all cylinders there in that first quarter, but Liberty Benton did just enough. Kept them in this game here heading into the second. Yeah, this LCC offense, you know, run by their, you know, their point guards, you know, out front, you know, has really turned it on the first quarter. But those three pointers are what they're really going to need for this LB team. As Jake Gherkin connects on a three pointer, and just like that, five point game. At one point, it looked like it had the makings of a blowout early, but Liberty Benton. And has found a way back into this game as we're kind of seeing the ball just oh get thrown around right now. What a <laughs> save by Reed Irwin. That was impressive. Here's Gherkin, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Nice job by Pretty to get down, get his feet set, and absorb that contact. Gherkin picks up his first, team's first here of the quarter. Now, Gerton, that three-pointer he shot and made just a little while ago, he shot a, that's his 110th three-point attempt. And we're going to have another whistle on the other side. This foul is going to go on. I believe it's going to be on number 15, Seth Elkert. It is. It's going to be his first, team second, as Jordan Pretty will go to the Lee Samuels Recipe Chicken free throw line to shoot two. First one is good. 71% free throw shooter coming into this game, averaging 16 points a game as well. And when you can get the play that, they, that LCC gets from their guards, I mean, that opens up a whole lot of things for them. Jordan Pretty goes two for two from the free throw line, making it a 19 to 12 game. And we're going to have another whistle as the officials now tighten this one up a little bit. This one's going to go on Willie Foster. Another substitution as Carson Conaway comes back into the game. And kind of to finish the thought that we had right there at the end of the first quarter, you know, this LCC team had, were kind of living and dying by the three-pointer. I mean, they, they have speed, they have quickness, they can get to the rim, but they were kind of settling for those three-point shots. But it really seems as they've moved throughout the season that even though that, that is still there and they very much can still shoot from behind there, they have developed a consistency getting into the lane, getting to the rim, and they can get it done in other ways, which makes them a very, very dangerous team. Oh, absolutely. I mean, rebounding-wise, they're averaging about 31 rebounds a game. Nice, nice pass on the inside. Just couldn't finish it off. It was a great set that time. Liberty Benton not able to finish. So here comes LCC. Foster down in the corner. Thought about it. And passes it up. Now here's Pretty. Three-point try. No good. And we're going to have a foul. This one's going to go on Parker as he came in to try to take that one away from Conaway. Carson Parker will pick up his first. Team I mean, second here of the quarter. When we talk about those three-point shots, you know, LCC had to really move into something else, like you said, Nate, because you can live and die by the three-pointer, but teams are going to figure that out real quick. With that. That's all you're going to shoot, and we're going to throw a zone on you and make you shoot them out there. And, so, so, but these guards for LCC are just so quick to get to the basket that you just cannot sit back there and wait for them. Steps into a three-point try that time, but no good. Matthew Quatman, who had checked back into the game, gets that rebound, pushes it up ahead. Foster going to try to go to the rim. That one's going to be no good. It's going to end up out of bounds. Tonight's quarter sponsor is the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all your banking and financial services needs. Visit yourstatebank.com, member FDIC, equal housing lender. And we continue to have substitutions coming in for both teams. Now it's Angelo Collins coming back in as Billy Burke will take a seat. You see Brody Thomas has come in for Liberty Benton as well. It's a little nuisance uh, type full court press right now by LCC. Nice job by Liberty Benton, getting him out of trouble. And they're going to try to set up in the half-court offense. Here's Gherkin, guarded by Parker, gets rid of it. Three-pointer on its way. That one is good. Lincoln Holler connects on a three-point try. Makes it a four-point game. Lincoln, a 41% three-point shooter. Brady's going to try to answer with a three of his own. That one's no good. Rebound ends up down to Gherkin. They're going to push it up ahead to Thomas. Thomas just did enough to get that one back into the hands of Conaway. Conaway's floater no good. Third opportunity for Liberty Benton. And finally goes down as Zach Elkert gets it to go. And now it's just a one possession game. And we're going to have a charge. This one's going to go on Matthew Quatman. 
And the off arm got a little bit of a push that time as all that momentum has gone back to Liberty Benton. And they're figuring out a few things. You can see it out there, you know, they're figuring out how to get the passes on the inside, get the guys open. They're also, you know, getting the rebounds that they weren't getting in that first quarter, which was big. And you know, they were getting out rebounded. And they got to not throw it away like that, though. Miscommunication by the Eagles leads to a turnover. Collins with the basketball. Drops it off to Parker. Parker is going to drive. He tried to get it up ahead to Foster, but had it poked away at the last minute. LCC fortunate to maintain possession and then a mix up yet again as Collins and Parker were kind of in a phone booth right there as Carson tried to hand it off to Angelo. Ends up going off his hands and out of bounds and back to Liberty Benton. Liberty Benton's defense has really gotten more aggressive here in the second quarter than they were in the first and that's really played dividends because that's unofficially the sixth turnover now for LCC. All the mistakes that we saw Liberty Benton making early, those have gone away. But now you see LCC has been the one that have started to make those mistakes, get those turnovers as we have a whistle and another foul as this is going to go on Pretty. And Pretty picks up his first. And this is the team's fifth of the quarter. So Jake Gherkin is going to go to the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line to shoot two. 4.43 left to go in the half. The shot is up, and it is good. Gertman, 80% free throw shooter, 35 for 44 coming into this game. Now, this is two or three times we've seen him when he breaks for the basket, has slipped, his feet has slipped out from under him. You know. That's how tight the defense is for LCC, but it's also how quickly he's trying to cut to the, to the rim. Gertman is perfect on that trip to the free throw line and ties this one up at 19. Pretty, trying to go quickly. Turnaround jumper, no good. Ball's going to be tipped around, going to go out of bounds, and it is going to go back to the Eagles. Now Liberty Ben with an opportunity to take the lead. And the way this was starting out, it looked like LCC was going to run away with it, and Liberty Benton just kind of settled in and dug their heels in and said, nope, we're not going to let you do that. At one point, it was 13-2 to two in this half. Since then, it has been all Liberty Benton, but they get a turnover right there. So LCC have an opportunity here to go back on top. And you can tell, Nate, that those turnovers that Liberty Benton's getting is just because they're trying to get as quickly as can. They're trying to keep up the speed that LCC had in that first quarter. They're trying to you know, duplicate that, and their feet just aren't staying with them. Foster pulled up from the free throw line, couldn't go. We got a re uh, an offensive rebound for LCC, so they get another opportunity. Matthew Quatman's pass is taken away by Conaway. Right now, the LCC offense out of sync, as good as they looked in that first quarter. It's been the exact opposite here in the second as Liberty Benton has tied this one back up and have an opportunity to take the lead. And give credit to the Eagles defense because they really have ramped it up. Ah, some more miscommunication. Boy, you hate to see that. If you're the coach, you hate to see that. That's two of them in a row. You know, you've got to think with as good as Liberty Benton is playing right now, if it wasn't for about half of these um, turnovers that they've had, even in this quarter where it's just been kind of thrown away balls, you know, they could be up multiple possessions at this point, and that's just got to drive Coach uh, Liberty Benton's the coaching staff absolutely crazy. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, that. So that's eight unofficial turnovers now for Liberty Benton, and half of those have been just unforced errors. Willie Foster drives to the basket. Doesn't get that one to go, but he gets fouled by Jake Gherkin. And it's Gherkin's second. Willie Foster's going to go to the Lee Samuel Frisbee Chicken free throw line to shoot two. Willie, a 50% free throw shooter. 18 for 36 coming into this match. More substitutions coming into the game. Foster not able to connect on that first one. Game still tied at 19. Second free throw on its way. This one does connect. LCC goes back up one. 325 left to go. Foster gets his hand on the inbounds, but it still ends up in the hands of the Eagles. Nice move to get to the basket, but that one's going to be redirected by Billy Burke. LCC's going to look to go quickly. DeMar Foster's oh floater my goes goodness. down. A little bit of a hesitation move, and then the floater, a tough shot for Foster, but gets it to go down. Yeah, he was determined he was going to get to that basket no matter what. And 
And that time, Zach Elker did not see Carson Parker trailing the play. Ends up right into his hands. Here's Jordan Pretty from the corner. That one's going to be no good. Connolly comes up with the rebound. So just as we were giving LCC a, a lot of credit and props for not firing a bunch of threes and had working things to the inside, we're seeing them now try to fire up a bunch of them. They've been off the mark on it. They've stopped trying to get to the basket consistently, at least like they were doing there in that first quarter. Yeah, they've kind of gone away from their game plan, it looks like, you know. And, and you're right, Nate. I mean, it, we didn't expect to see them just start firing up the threes like they have now. They were doing such a great job of getting to the basket. Now, Liberty Men made a, a couple of adjustments. They did close down the middle a little bit. But really, you know, I, not enough that I think that LCC could have to change and try not to get in there. Right now, just not in sync with most of the offense for LCC. Is that one kind of got thrown out wide? I think LCC got bailed out a little bit with that foul as Elk Elkert was mixed up with Carson Parker. He's going to go to the least famous recipe chicken free throw line. His first shot is good. And that's Carson Parker, who's averaging 10 points a game. That's his first point of the night. Parker lines up his second shot. It's on its way. And that one's going to be no good. Conaway comes up with the rebound. Conaway gets right into a little bit of pressure, but gets it up across midcourt. Here comes the trap. They are able to pass out of it. Good spacing by LCC, though, not giving up any good looks, even though they were a man down. Conaway's just going to pull up for three. No oh, good. Nice job. What a put back by Elkert. <laughs> Almost looked like um, back. Back in the playground days, playing 21 or something, <laughs> yeah. playing the tip in. He knew he didn't want to come down with it. Wow. Parker's going to drive, working against Elkert. Doesn't go, fights for the rebound. Somehow gets it across two different eagles and hands it off to Billy Burke. Goes up and finishes with the foul. Burke gets his first two of the night. He's going to go to the free throw line for the end one opportunity. LCC up four with a minute 39 left to go here in the half. Substitution coming in for Liberty Benton. Jackson Hostetler coming in. Burke looking for the old fashioned three point play and he gets it. LCC has been able to push this back out to a five-point lead. Final minute 30 here of the half, and Liberty Benton once again throws it away. That's at least the third possession here of this quarter where we've just kind of seen them throw it to an empty part of the court and just give the ball back to LCC. That, that one was heading for the concession stand, I think. Boy, I, I think they're just, you know, Liberty Benton's just got to kind of slow it down a little bit. I think they're trying to play a little bit fast. They're trying to play the speed that LCC plays, and that's not going to win them this game. You know, they've got to slow it down a little bit and make the passes more consistent. Now, LCC has been able to break into the lanes and cut those passes down, but, you know, I think Liberty Benton, if they can just, you know, relax a little bit. Good find on the inside. Carson Parker can't finish, gets his own rebound. Second opportunity, no good. It's going to be last touch by Liberty Benton. They'll stay with the Thunderbirds. See a little bit of frustration that time from Carson Parker. Can't believe he missed both of those shots. And I think you kind of get that from several of the different LCC players. Is they just can't believe how tough it has been here in this quarter to score. Handoff back to Foster. Three-point try, no good. And we're going to have a foul as Willie Foster came across the top of Jackson Hostetler. And Willie Foster is going to pick up his second. And Coach Powell can't be happy with that with only a minute left to go here in the half. No, that's in uh, Jackson to the foul line. 56% free throw shooter, averages just under five points a game. So we see Matthew Quadman came to the scorer's table. Got to imagine Willie Foster's going to take a seat. Coach Powell doesn't want to risk him picking up his third here before halftime. And that's exactly what's happening as Reed Irwin's going to come back in for Liberty Benton as well. As Brody Thomas is going to take a seat. Hostetler's second free throw is good. So Hosteller goes one for two from the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line. Makes this a four point game. One minute remaining in the half. 
Final minute of the half. Lamar Foster with the basketball for LCC. Works against Irwin, gets it off to Parker. Parker feeds that inside. Nice left-handed move by Burke, but he can't finish. So pretty come flying in there at the end, though, to try to get the put back. Doesn't get it to go, but he's going to go to the free throw line. He's perfect tonight so far, two for two. Is that a good first half? Pretty not able to get that one to go down. Pretty had seven points in that first quarter where LCC looked like they were about to run away with this one early. Liberty Benton did a nice job making adjustments. He's been held uh, scoreless from the field. His only two points here in this quarter come from the free throw line. And he now has three points from the line. 27-22, final 45 seconds here of the half. Liberty Benton trying to work it up against some pressure from LCC. Now Liberty Benton trying to throw over the top of this LCC defense. They got some height on them that they can do that, but they don't get that ball up there high enough. And LCC's been more than able to take it away from them. Conway left that one short. LCC comes up with the rebound, but a great heads up play by Jake Gherkin to push that one. And then we're going to have a timeout on the other side. So they're going to say oh, Liberty Benton had possession on the far side. They're going to get the timeout. We'll step aside as well and be back. WOSA. Welcome back to next timeout. So brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. Helping you plan your financial future. Call 419. Or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. So Liberty Benton got the timeout. Final 10 seconds left of the half as they look to take the last shot. Don't have to hurry again. As they were trying to go down into the corner, but Holler not able to get his hands on that pass before it got poked away and out of bounds. You got so those up. long arms of Billy Burke out there, boy. Absolutely. <laughs> 6.8 seconds left to go. There's Conaway down on the corner looking to go baseline. Quatman with the defense. They pass it off. Irwin's three-point try, no good. And Parker just going to launch it. The quarterback a little bit off on the mark on that pass, and that's going to bring the first half to a close. LCC, it got a little, it got a little dicey there in that second quarter as Liberty Benton was able to fight back and tie it. But the Thunderbirds open up a five-point lead to close the second quarter, and they'll go to the locker room with the lead. We'll step aside and be back with the third quarter here on WOSA. Welcome back. Tonight's scoreboard is brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Third quarter underway here at Steve Williams Court at Liberty Benton High School as LCC holds on to a five-point lead. Dar Nevergal, Dar Nevergal alongside me. And Dar, you know, it was really a story of two quarters. LCC came out, the offense was firing on all cylinders there in the first quarter. They jumped out to a 13-2 lead. But then Liberty Benton took some timeouts, made some adjustments, really grinded things down. Ended up getting it tied at 19 before we finally ended up with the halftime score of 27-22. But you got to give Liberty Benton a lot of credits. They really shut down LCC, forced them to go back behind the arc. They weren't hitting into the three-pointers. And they did what they needed to do to get themselves back in this game. No, oh, they absolutely did. And, you know, they got more aggressive on defense. They started putting in some shots that they uh, typically miss in the first half. See Carson Parker make the basket there. That's just his third point of the night. Three pointer on its way. That one's no good. Long rebound ends up in the hands of the Eagles. Three pointer on its way. This time it is good. Lincoln Holler doesn't miss on the second opportunity. As Liberty Benton really has done a lot of their damage from behind the arc. That is now five three pointers on the games for them. Holler's going to try it again. This one's going to be off the mark. Burke comes up with the rebound. Yeah, they were uh, three for 10 in that first half in three-point range. Foster drives baseline, gets that one in, and that is when LCC has been at their best tonight, when they have just lowered their heads, they've used their speed, and got themselves to the rim. An early timeout here by Coach Powell as he wants to talk to his Thunderbird and get everybody on the same page. We'll step aside as well and be back. What was that? Welcome 
Welcome back. Tonight's time now is brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Also like to thank tonight's quarter sponsor, the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all your banking and financial services needs. Visit yourstatebank.com, member FDIC, equal housing lender. So Coach Powell fired up there in the huddle, trying to make sure that his Thunderbirds came out of the locker room with the same kind of energy. And even though he saw DeMar make that layup, he did not like the defensive effort on the other end that gave Liberty Benton multiple opportunities before they finally put that three-pointer in. Yeah. On away with the left-hand quarter. Well. What a great job by Liberty Benton to clear out that lane, and Conaway is able to get it to go. Foster is going to try to three-pointer. DeMar Foster hits a big three-point try. That's their first three-pointer in the second half. And it's a big one there by uh, DeMar Foster, who hits about 35% of his threes. Here's Conaway now working against Pretty. Hands it off to Holler. He's going to try the three-point again. This one's going to go off back of the iron. Irwin comes up with the rebound. Tried to pass that off underneath to Elkert, but was off the mark. So now Willie Foster is going to drive. Nice step through the middle, able to get that high off the glass. Now in that first half, you know, Liberty Benton was really plagued by turnovers, and a lot of them were unforced turnovers. And LCC was able to turn those into points, and then Looks like the same way starting out this half. All right now back and forth, Jake Gherkin on the great run on the other side, got that one to go for two, but LCC wasted no time coming down and Willie Foster got that one to go in. 38-29 here in the third quarter, 5.20 left to go. Yeah, if you're the Eagles, you can't match baskets at this point. You've got to get a little bit of run somehow. They've, they're a lot more patient here in this in the third quarter than they were in that first half. The Eagles were, you know, they just threw the ball away too many times in the first half. Trying to work through the screen. Oh. Gherkin gets a high arcing shot. As Jake Gherkin now with four points in the quarter, trying to keep the Eagles close. It's Carson Parker looking for somewhere to go with it. Ends up getting it back into the hands of Foster. Mars going to call the play. Let's the offense get set. Gets it down in the corner to Pretty now. As Pretty's been quiet since the first quarter, and he gets the drive, hooping the harm for Jordan Pretty. First two points of the quarter, and he's going to make a trip to the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line. Got a host of substitutions coming in from uh, both squads here. You see Matthew Quatman coming into the game, Angelo Collins coming in for LCC. Brody Thomas comes in for excuse me, for uh, Liberty Benton. And this is what makes LCC so dangerous as a team. It's, it, the guard play that they've got out there, which gives them the opportunity to drive to the basket, get guys in there and draw fouls, you know, and kind of opens up that middle, and you really can't collapse in there too much, you know, because they'll pop it out from the outside as well. But their guard play is just outstanding. Parker Judy coming in for LCC as well. Oh, look at him go up. He couldn't get it to go down, but he got real elevation on that one. Seth Elkert also checked in for Liberty Benton during that last stoppage, and we're going to have to travel as Parker Judy uh, got going a little bit too quickly before he put the basketball on the floor, so another turnover for LCC. Yeah, unofficially, I've got them down for 10 turnovers, and for Liberty Benton, 11 turnovers. Conaway working against Quatman. Quatman with that tough defense that he is known for. Forces him to get rid of it. Conway just going to pull up for three. That one's no good. Foster on the run out. Usually good things happen when he has the ball in space, and that was a great effort by Conaway to get down and get a hand on that basketball, but he's going to get whistled for the foul as Willie Foster is going to make a trip to the free throw line. That's only Connolly's second turn or second foul. Willie Foster gonna make a trip to the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line. He'll have two shots coming. First one on its way. I'll leave that one short. He's one for two in free throws in the first half. Now one for three for th for the game. 
Jackson Hostetler coming in for Liberty Benton. And the second shot is up. This one is also short. So an empty trip to the free throw line that time for Willie Foster. Keeps this a 10-point game. Liberty Benton's trying to find a way to get themselves a little bit closer. Well, LCC's defense relies a lot on their quickness because they spread it out all over the court. But they, you know, once that ball gets in somebody's hands, they are there in a heartbeat. A good look that time by Liberty Benton. LCC did a great job defending it, not to give that three-point shot up. And then that time, good defense by Carson Parker. Zach Elkert couldn't finish. Parker gets it down low to Collins. Collins looking to drive. That's to kick it back out. Collins hasn't had too many opportunities on the inside. Collins spins with the right hand. That one's going to be off the mark. Conaway down low to Elkert as Zach Elkert gets his first two here of the quarter. Nine points now for Elkert tonight. Good ball movement that time by the Liberty Benton. Foster pulls up mid-range, and that one's good. Willie Foster. Six points here in the quarter for Willie Foster. So LCC back out to the 10-point lead with 2.20 left to go in the quarter. Conaway goes through the double team, and Willie Foster's going to get whistled for the foul as he reached in to try to take that one away. And he is going to check out as DeMar Foster, Billy Burke, and Jordan Pretty come into the game. And then we see Brody Thomas checking back in for Liberty Benton as well. Tyler Gross. Absolutely. Tyler Gross coming in for Liberty Benton, wearing number 44. So both of these uh, coaches are not afraid to go to their bench. We've seen a lot of substitutions here tonight as Thomas gets that inbounds underneath his basket, working against Foster. As Matthew Quabman comes out of nowhere, able to swipe that one away. Foster gets Collins down low. I think Collins was a little bit surprised. He was that wide open. He was looking to post somebody up, and there was nothing but air there. And then on the rebound, though, Liberty Benton gets a little mixed up. That ends up going off of their hands out of bounds, and they'll stay with LCC. Well, this has been a game of, of momentum back and forth. I mean, one team will, seems to make a run at it, and the other one then just picks it up from there. Collins with the great head fake that time as he was able to get Conaway off his feet. Garson Conaway is going to pick up his third. And that is the 14th foul here of the quarter for Liberty Benton. Yeah, that's one player they can't afford to lose if they're the Eagles, and that's Carson Conaway. Pretty. Working down low, going against Gherkin, pulls up, and puts that one in. Jordan Pretty. Jordan Pretty was such a pretty shot. As he was able to just create a little bit of space and had the soft touch to finish. I was going to say, he's got good control of his body, and he just kind of moves around and gets around the defenders easily. Three-point shot on its way. That's what Liberty Benton needed is Jake Gherkin gets the three-pointer to go. And they've got to find something to give their offense a spark. Nine-point deficit. Pretty with the basketball into the lane. Right hand leaves that one up short. As Gross comes up with the rebound. And kind of playing off of Gherkin a little bit on those three-point shots. He's got a lot of room and good, you know, good vision to see him. Irwin goes down low to Elkert. Elkert missed Jake Gherkin coming wide open underneath the basket, so the Ben's going to have to reset. Conaway looking for the screen, gets it to Gherkin in the corner. Gherkin's three-point try, no good. He gets his own rebound, though, and we're going to have a foul, as I believe this one's going to go on Collins. Good on following of your shot on Gherkin's part. He had to hurry that three-pointer in the first place, but he had presence of mind to get in there right away and grab the ball again. Brody Thomas coming back into the game for Liberty Benton. See Willie Foster and Carson Parker coming back in for LCC. 
Thomas gets it down into the corner, off the inbounds, needs somewhere to go with it. Bad spot on the floor to pick up your dribble, but he's fortunate to be able to get out of trouble. Conaway's going to drive. Can't get that one to go down, but does pick up the foul as she's going to make a trip to the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line. Carson Parker is going to pick up his second foul. This is Conaway's first trip to the foul line tonight. Just a 59% free throw shooter. Conaway connects on the first. More substitutions coming in for Liberty Bend. And Seth Elkert has checked back into the game. Conaway's second shot is no good. Forty-five, thirty-seven. 37 LCC with the basketball. Final 20 seconds of the third quarter. We saw what they did when they ran it down the last time. They're just going to hang on to this ball until they can get a drive to the basket. Brady comes off the screen, guarded tightly. Going to get it down to Parker down low. And Parker's going to pick up the offensive foul. A great job by Jake Gherkin there. There was definitely some contact and a little bit of a sell job. Made that one seem a little bit worse than what it might yes, have been. And did. Parker gets the offensive foul. We'll give him his Oscar later. <laughs> More substitutions for everybody coming in as Collins is going to come back in for LCC. Into the game for Lincoln Holler came back in for Liberty Benton. And at this point, if anybody else came in and I missed it, I'm sorry. I can only, I can only keep like, track of so many right now. Three-pointer on its way, and that is off the mark as Carson Conaway had a decent look at it but couldn't connect, and the third quarter comes to a close. LCC maintains the lead there on top, 45-37. Step aside to be back. Scoreboard is brought to you by Mexican Financial Services, helping you play into your financial future. So 419-265-6067, visit MexicanFinancialServices.com. Tonight's free throws are brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpog, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where homestyle happens here. Liberty Benton to begin the fourth quarter with the basketball. Find themselves a down Finds himself down eight, excuse me, here to begin this quarter. And, you know, for as bad as it has looked at times for Liberty Benton, especially when LCC has gone on their runs, they have found a way to keep themselves into this game, but they've got to string together a couple of positive possessions here. Yeah, absolutely, and they got to get a couple shutdowns, and that's not how you're going to do it right there. Foster. Billy Foster runs the floor, able to get that one in, and we're going to have another quick timeout as Coach Whiteman is not happy that they let Willie just run right down the middle of the floor and finish at the basket. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. We'll step aside as well and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Mexico Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit Mexico Financial Services. So Coach Whiteman takes the early timeout here in the fourth quarter as he was less than pleased to see Willie Foster be able to run the floor that freely. Yeah, he just, nobody tried to stop him all. He just went right through there. Carson Parker got called for the offensive foul on the other end. He gets that one back as he gets Carson Conaway on the offensive foul. And that is Carson Conaway's fourth foul here of the game. He's going to have to be very careful as if Liberty Benton wants any chance of finding a way back into this game, they need him on the floor. Yeah, that's a 15-point score for this uh, Liberty Benton team. And he's been held pretty much in check at night. He only has seven points, but he does so many other things for him as far as rebounding and that kind of thing. And he's a team leader out there for Liberty Benton, so you can't see Carson Pon Conaway take the bench. He's really Foster using that speed to his advantage. A little bit too far under the basket, but got his own rebound. Gets that one to go as he has four points here in the fourth. 
So far, a 4 nothing quarter for LCC. Tonight's quarter sponsor is the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all your banking and financial service needs. Visit yourstatebank.com, member FDIC, equal housing lender. I mean, Willie Foster came into this game averaging 11 points a game. He's already got 19 now. And he's been pretty much able to run right straight to the basket anytime he wants to. Here's Conway with the right hand. A great job by Lincoln Holler as he was driving and had a lot of traffic in his way. Dropped that one off to Conway who finishes. And we're going to have a foul on the other side. Not quite see who they called that one on yet. We'll wait for the official word. That's going to go on Lincoln Holler. That is his third, team second here of the quarter. As Jordan Pretty is going to go to the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line to shoot two. And he connects on his first. See Zach Elkert coming back in for Liberty Benton. Pretty makes it a perfect two for two on that trip. As LCC is on top, 51-39. And Purdy six for seven tonight at the free throw line. That shot is up and in for Liberty Benton. They are trying to stay close. Want to stay within striking distance as Carson Conway has another two points. LCC going quick. DeMar Foster three-pointer oh goes down. Well, they haven't shot that many threes tonight. You know, they did kind of pick it up a little bit in the one quarter, but you know, I unofficially I've only got them down for eight threes. But that second quarter they seem to let it fly a lot more freely, but in that third quarter they really tightened things up, got things going back inside, and was able to open that lead up when they did. But a great job by Carson Conaway as he refuses to let his team go away. And we're going to have a full timeout by Liberty Benton. We're going to take it as well. LCC on top, 54-43. We'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Back tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you play in your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Welcome back. This Steve Williams scored here at the Liberty Benton High School. Nick Garlock alongside Darn Evergall as LCC has an 11-point lead, but Liberty Benton trying to stay close as Carson Conaway continues to try to trade baskets with the Thunderbirds right now, and they're going to need a defensive stop. Yeah, they certainly are, and Conaway held pretty quiet in the first half with only four points. has put nine points on the board here in the second half. I think Conaway was very fortunate right there that he did just to pick up his fifth foul. LCC off the mark on that one. Here comes Conway working against Parker. Nice job oh sidestepping Carson Parker as Carson Conway gets it done. That is four straight baskets for him. He's been able to get inside that paint, you know, pretty consistently here in the second half and puts that little left-handed layup in there. There's Burke. He comes free, and that's going to be it on Conway uh -oh. as Conway has done everything he can for this team tonight, but he just filed out. That's one of those ones, too. If you're Coach Whiteman, you got to just say, hey, look, sometimes, especially late in games, if you get beat, you get beat. Let them try to make the mistake. He tried to go for the block, and he picks up that crucial fifth foul. He's going to take a seat for the rest of this one, and somebody else on Liberty Benton is going to have to step up. Yeah, they're going to get a lot from, and they're going to have to get something from, more from Jake Burton out there as well as uh, Elkhart. Billy Burke at the Lee Savings Recipe Chicken free throw line, shooting two. He was able to hit his only free throw on his only trip here tonight prior to this one. He connects on this one as well with one more to come. Burke now three for three on the night. 5.05 left to go in this one. LCC on top 11. Irwin looking for the screen. Going to come off of it. As he comes in, runs right into Burke. I think that even that collision stunned even Irwin, who was the one who initiated it. Nice drive on that inside, but they can't finish as Elkert was just a little bit off on this one. 
Long pass out to Pretty, who left it up there for Foster, who couldn't finish. Pretty with the putback. That one's no good. A couple of players hitting the floor that time as their feet got tied up. Here comes DeMar Foster as he had that one partially blocked. Pretty did a nice job following that shot. He gets it in for two. And a lot of chaos happening right now. I have a whistle. I'm not really sure what is going on currently. As there was a whistle for a stop of play, but I don't, I think maybe it was just for substitutions as uh, Liberty Benton Bench wasn't quite happy with the no call with the trip up on the other end. So they wanted to have a minute to talk with the official. The official said, hey, didn't see it. Can't call what I don't see. And after some substitutions coming in, play will be back underway. Oh, that was interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Foster almost comes up with another steal. Liberty Benton maintains possession. Three-point try on its way. No good. Foster going to push it up ahead to Parker. Parker. Going to go against Thomas, who does a great job of just pulling up right there, making sure he didn't pick up the offensive foul. He gets the two-point in to make it a 15-point game. Yeah, Liberty Benton, the guy, the wind went out of their sails when Conway took the bench, and they haven't been able to recover, and then starting to throw the ball away again like they did in the first half. Turnover by Liberty Benton, but then an immediate turnover by LCC as Foster got tied up trying to get that once. That's going to be a travel call on him. Unofficially, I had Liberty Benton now with 15 turnovers and 12 turnovers for LCC. So it hasn't been the most efficient game. Here's Gherkin for three. That one's going to be no good. Fight for the rebound. Going to have a jump ball called. And possession arrow favors the Thunderbirds. And then we talked about, you know, three-point shots. And LCC's kind of, you know, not shot that many threes tonight. They did a little bit for a little while there, but really it's been Liberty Benton that's been firing up the threes. They've got, a, I've got unofficially 23 point attempts tonight. And they just haven't been able to knock them down. Yeah, LCC definitely has been a lot more efficient with their shot selection tonight. You know, they've kind of seen them get out of that a little bit in that second quarter. And that's when Liberty Benton, you know, made their run and, you know, kind of was giving the biggest challenge to LCC. But then once they stopped, um, pulling up for three every time down the floor and got back to what was working, which was driving and getting to the basket. They really opened this lead up, and they've been able to maintain that here in the second half. Fight for the loose ball ends up in the hands of the Eagles. See Elkert underneath. No good. Rebound comes down to LCC. Yeah, when they started really going back to the, what they did in the first quarter, and that was rely on their guards to really drive the offense, you know, they were able to put it back together again, and they've been a lot better in keeping the rhythm of this game. Foster going to work on the inside, dribbling in and out of some traffic, trying to get to the rim. And he is going to get fouled as Zach Elkert will pick up that foul. And Foster is going to make a trip to the free, free throw line. Substitutions coming in for LCC. As Malachi Talbert checks in for the first time tonight for the Thunderbirds. Billy Burke back into the game as well. Reed Irwin has checked back in for the Eagles. Liberty Benton has failed to score here in the fourth quarter. Here's Parker Judy, checked into the game for LCC during one of the last stoppages. As Foster trying to get it inside the Burke. Good defense for it by the Eagles. Pull it back out. Foster working through the screen. Able to get by Irwin and get to the basket for two more. Yeah, well, once at the end of the third quarter was a 45-37 game. has now ballooned into 62-45, and Liberty Benton has failed to put any points on the board here in the fourth. Nice back door that time as Reed Irwin was able to get to the rim for two, and we're going to have another timeout as Liberty Benton wants to talk about it. We'll step aside as well as it's a full timeout. We'll be back on WOSN. Welcome back to 
Tonight's scoreboard is brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. 218 left in this one with LCC in control. They're on top, 62-47. Parker Judy inbounds to Foster. Gets it ahead to Talbert. Talbert trying to get in the lane a little bit. Couldn't get that one to go. Come the Eagles. Tournament play up next for both of these teams as Liberty Benton is going to make the trip down to Perry. Take them on in the first round game. LCC will have a bye as they will await the winner of one of the other sectional matchups. As Gherkin drives, gets all the way to the rim. And you can see why this Eagle team could be a tough outcome tournament play. They do shoot a lot of three-pointers, but all it's going to take is a night where those are on. And they can play with just about anybody and score with just about anybody. But nights like tonight where they just seem to be a little bit off, it gets a little bit difficult. They got to have that secondary score when Conway can't be in the game like tonight. As Gherkin tries to do just that, that one can't go. Fight for the second opportunity, stays in the hands of Liberty Benton. And then the other side, LCC, they are the one seed. A lot of people have them circled to head off to the regionals, but they're going to have a difficult trip. Um, you know, I think everybody kind of anticipates that LCC St. Henry matchup. Mm -hmm. uh, that'll be uh, that will be a fantastic game. Uh, LCC, though, we have seen, you know, there are some holes as well. Turnovers can be a little bit of an issue. They can throw the ball around a little bit. But I think they showed a lot of growth here tonight. You know, we talked about it multiple times, though, in that second quarter when they kind of just let themselves, you know, I think, maybe get a little bit too comfortable, yeah. just start shooting too many, th too many threes, and then they let Liberty Benton get back into this one. You know, and maybe a month and a half ago, two months, that ends up, turning into it, maybe even a loss for them. But here they, they grinded it out. They got back to what they were doing, and they were able to not only, you know, keep Liberty Benton at bay, but then expand this lead. They're, they're going to come away with a victory here tonight as we had another timeout on the floor. But I think that, that that's growth. That's what you want. If you're that Coach is, Powell, absolutely. you have to be happy seeing your team kind of fight through that adversity, kind of get into some bad habits, but able to rebound from that and still come away with a victory. Well, and it's basically, you know, stick to the game plan, guys. You know, it, it, they got away from it, like you said, Nate, in the second quarter a little bit, went back to what they like to do. But that's not what you want to do. If you're the coach, you want, you want you to do what I want you to do, not what you like to do, and that's – you know, against this Liberty Benton team, we're not going to trade three-point shots with them. We're going to drive to the basket. And they had the quickness to get around Liberty Benton's big guys, and that was big key for them. You know, you're right. You know, Con Conway is their leader for Liberty Benton. When he's not out there, Girton kind of picked it up a little bit, but they really need another guy that, you know, that can score points for him. Elkhart, you know, put some points on the board, but he was pretty much shut out in the second half altogether. He had seven in the first half, just two in the second half. And, you know, you've got to have more of that, more scores out there for, for the Liberty team. I said, you know, they're a young team. They only have two seniors on the roster and two juniors and two seniors. The rest are sophomores. So, you know, they, they got a lot of growth to make, you know, but they could be a tough out if they can get the rebounds, if they can get a couple of scores to put points on the board for them. You know, they can go, you know, into the districts, that kind of thing. You know, I don't know, I'm anticipating how far they can go in the tournament, but, you know, LCC, on the other hand, yeah, they, they got they got all the talent in the world. You know, I can remember watching them on the tip-off classic, the opening night, watching them, and they, they have, when you look at a team that could be a team to watch, you know, long tournament run, you know, potential to do the big things once they get into that tournament, they have all those tools. They have length. They have shooting, they have speed, they have the athleticism, they have the role player guys who don't mind doing some of that tough, dirty work like a Matthew Quatman who doesn't ma mind getting on the floor right. and, and, and you know playing that tough defense. They have all the pieces, and it was just going to be the challenge of Coach Powell this year to see if he can get all those pieces to be consistent. I think they're still searching for that consistency, but it's a lot closer. Like tonight, you only really saw them get out of that for one quarter, where before maybe it was two or more quarters, and they were having to kind of scramble there towards the end. Here tonight, saw one quarter where they got a little bit out of sync, but like we said, they 
were able to kind of change that up, rebound from that, get back to what they like to do, and ultimately that led to a big victory tonight as the final seconds are going to come off the clock. Yeah, when you've got a veteran coach too like Sean Powell, you know, he's going to pull these guys back in and he's going to make sure that they follow his game plan, and that's what they did tonight. So that is going to bring this one to a close as LCC comes up to Liberty Benton and they come away with the big victory, 65-53. I'd like to thank our crew, Jacob, as he set up all of the equipment, got all the cameras ready, did everything we needed to. We get the easy job, Dar. We watch a game, we get to talk That's about right. it. He's got to do Absolutely. all this technical stuff, make sure it all set up, looks good, makes us sound good. We appreciate everything he does for us. One final time for Liberty Benton, LCC comes away victorious. Our Nate Garlock, thanks for tuning in, and have a great night.